Greetings fellow YouTube users, Proto here and I am bringing you another episode of my legendary unique guide and today I am bringing you guys a legendary class mod and this one is the Lawbringer edition so for those of you who are using the Gladiator, the Enforcer or the Frag Trap I am sorry but you will not get to see the stats that you get from this class mod and for those of you who have not finished the game this is a major spoiler so you may want to stop well you should have stopped a few seconds ago so Moving on, for those of you who don't care, I'm going to show you how to get this class mod. So, to get this class mod, you have to beat the Imperian Sentinel. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I probably butchered it, but whatever. So, but to get to him, every time what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to watch the cutscene for the Sentinel, the Guardian of the Vault, and then you're going to have to kill the Sentinel. So, for those of you who don't remember how to kill the Sentinel, you have to take off his shield. He's going to make this huge Nova attack. You want to jump over that. I didn't do it right there, but you're supposed to jump over it. Take off his shield again. Jump over and over again, take off his shield, and then take off his health. After you do that, you know, just run around, pick up moonstone, ammo, weapons, whatever you want, and then the Imperial Sentinel is going to spawn a few seconds after. And then what you want to do is you want to take off, he's going to have these three masks. You want to destroy each of the masks, and then when you destroy all three masks, the last thing you're going to have to do is you're going to actually have to, when you, well, you first destroy the masks, you attack his face until he dies three times and then when you do all this three times then you know he's gonna drop and then in borderlands fashion whenever you beat a boss either whether it's for a dlc or for the main game you know loot explosion he's the place where he's coming out of that purple thingy mabob that's holding his body up yeah there's gonna be a loot explosion coming out of that it's gonna have cash it's gonna have moonstone it's gonna have weapons it's gonna have class mods it's gonna have a bunch of loot it's borderlands fashion so my recommendation is just stand in the middle so you can actually grab as much cash as possible and then just you know run in the circle grab all the cash and then while you're running in the circle you'll see things whether you like it or not it'll be purples blues greens maybe even whites uh customizations all that stuff and then if you're lucky like i was this time you will find i just ran right over it but i ran around in a circle again and you will find an legendary class mod it's called the iridian vanquisher so to actually get to this area after you've beaten the boss the first time you're gonna want to come you spawn in the green circle area you want to make your way up to the red circle area and when you actually beat the boss you will spawn out you, if you leave through the portal you will spawn outside and you will come to where that little yellow circle is you cannot backtrack back into the red circle and beat him again from there like you would be actually be able to do with the bunker in borderlands 2 you could just leave the area and come back even though it's much faster just quit and come back unless there was somebody with you who can just teleport to come back even then though that's a little bit time consuming so you can't actually do it you have to save and quit every single time so this is the Iridian Vanquisher class mod and for Lawbringers it gives you since it's a lower level one I'm pretty sure it's gonna be plus five when you actually get it to max level it gives you plus two to five different skills which is very much like the legendary soldier legendary siren and so on and so forth that you would get from Borderlands 2 after beating... Actually, you had to get him off of the badass Varkid, the last one. I, I forgot his name. So, the five skills you see is not... It's not going to be lined up at the top like the older legendary class numbers where it's like all five of the top skills. No, it's... Well, you get most of the top skills, but you also get this skill down here, Hell's Come With Me, which is extra shot chance after reloading or taking ammo with your whip. And the rest of them are... Well yeah they're, they're aligned to the top so ruthless and so on and so forth so that is how you get the iridium vanquisher you i'm not sure if it's class specific how it will drop every time that is dropped for me i've gotten it for the class specifically that i was using so i got it for my cloud trap and i got it for nisha so i want to thank you guys for watching i hope this video helped you guys out and i hope to see you guys later